Hey guys, welcome to episode 14 of Obscure, well, sort of obscure toy lines from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Start off with the second most requested toy line out of all the comets from Kenner 1997, Mummies Alive. A conflict left unfinished in ancient Egypt has emerged in 20th century San Francisco. Mummies Alive. The appearance of an evil wizard seeking revenge and immortality, a reborn child pharaoh unaware of his royal station, four ancient embalmed warriors rise from the dead to protect their young king. Mummies Alive are getting really hot on the secondary collector's market. Matchbox 1985 Parasites Evil beings from Halley's Comet have invaded Earth. They've infected ordinary cars and trucks and are now planning on conquering the planet. The Parasite toys are a mixed bag in terms of their production quality. About half of them are pretty well made and the other half have corners cut on them. The figures stood at 3 and 3 quarters tall. They came with chrome weapon-like limbs and the ones that did have a good build weren't horrible looking. Hasbro, 1992, Battle Trolls. Big hair dudes with bad attitudes, Battle Trolls are ready to mess you up at a moment's notice. Don't touch their hair or you're in for a scare. They had quite a few catchphrases. The original Battle Trolls was a brand of action figures produced by Hasbro in the early 90s. They were made in an attempt to market their popular concept of troll dolls to young boys. The line featured 26 individual characters, two of which were repainted and available in special vehicle sets. It's Slime Time from Hasbro, 1987. Hasbro produced this cumbersome timepiece called Slime Time, which featured two color variants of three characters. A snake, a bat, and a frog. They all opened up to reveal a digital watch inside and these were marketed towards boys. Researching this, there wasn't a lot of information. I did find an ad from Toys R Us back in the 80s that said that it was retailed at $9.97 and that Mattel tried to sue Hasbro over the word slime. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Next Mutation, Playmates, 1997. Now we all know Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles isn't obscure by any stretch of the imagination. But this one series that they tried to do in the late 90s called The Next Mutation was an oddball. It only lasted one toy wave and one season for the television show. Whether you liked her or not, they also added a new fifth turtle, a female, named Venus. Her toy, interestingly enough, commands the most money on the secondary market now. Demolition Man, Mattel, 1993. They thought him out to capture a criminal. Even after 36 years on ice, he couldn't keep his cool. He's John Spartan, the Demolition Man, toughest cop of the 21st century. So Mattel produced a line of toys to coincide with this movie, starring both Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes. The majority of the toy lines consisted of the two's characters, Spartan and Phoenix, in a variety of versions with different clothes and weapons along with a few vehicles. The lack of toy diversity and the fact that the, the movie wasn't really geared towards children are the two main factors why this line did so poorly. And that's gonna do it guys, 14 episodes in the can. So I'm gonna take a break for part of the summer to work on some flea market adventure videos, get back to some video game stuff, but the series is not over, you know, they're gonna pop up sporadically during the summer. So again, guys, I really need your help. Let me know down in the comments some toy lines that I missed or something that you wanna see, and I'll try and get to it uh, fairly soon. And again, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. So thank you so much for watching and helping out. I really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully I'll see you with some video games in about a week.